first heard about the idea of making nature art about a year and a half ago when I watched a documentary called Rivers and Tides by Andy Goldsworthy. When I make the nature art, I really feel in touch with the land around me, uh, getting my hands and feet all dirty and messy and twisting and bending my body in different ways, moving pieces of nature in my environment that you know I might not have ever looked at before and then when I start picking them up and looking it's like you get to find all, all sorts of little tiny worlds that you had no idea existed all kinds of little seeds and shells and rocks and fun shapes and colors that go by without being seen so often in our day-to-day -day lives as we're just walking around and forget to take moments to really pause and look closely at things around us, the big and the small. One of my favorite parts about making nature art is that you can virtually make it anywhere you are. Nature is all around us, even in the cities and parks, and it really doesn't take a lot of looking to start to find a lot of different pieces that you can work with, and the material to create is in abundance everywhere. When I'm making nature art, I really find it to be a very relaxing, meditative process, and just meditative in the sense that it puts me into a place of observation, whether I'm observing my own internal environment, my thoughts, my emotions, whatever I'm experiencing on my body as I'm creating the art, the aches and the pains, the fulfillment that I'm feeling from getting in touch with the land around me, or if it's my external environment, the sounds of the ocean, the wind through the trees, the birds, the sights, colors and smells of everything around me that I'm working with. It is a wonderful opportunity to just kind of pause from all of the usual distractions in life and to be present and observe the environment, the inner and outer environment, and to reflect on that a little bit, see what comes up and just observe it. art when I take the pictures of them I really hope to open people up to that deeper connection that we can experience when we're out in the wild when we're out in nature when we're interacting with it on a bodily level through touch and smells and sights and sounds or whether we're in the city and we're in parks and we're walking around or the other people that we're walking around and interacting with that nature is all around us, that there isn't this distinction that it's something that's outside of the cities or outside of our homes. We've created this illusion that we are able to be isolated from nature when it's just not true that we are completely interdependent and interconnected with our environment. So when I make nature art and share the potential that exists in the environment around us, I hope that it serves as a reminder to others to also do this in their own way, to connect with themselves, to connect with the land, to connect with their environment and the people around them so that they are able to feel more in touch with that and a part of something, whether it's a community of people, a family of people, or the entire globe. We're all participating in this co-creative process called life. I really hope that through my art I'm able to encourage other people to find their own version of it, whatever that is, doing whatever they love, the gifts that they have to offer, and truly feel like we're contributing something back to this world. Oh,